This is the 12 volt water heater, converted 12 volt water heater. Now I am going to switch out the element, reinstall the wire, and it will be good to go to be plugged back into the wall. So here we have water heater right there and changed out back to a 120 it was originally or i changed it to a 12 volt system now it's converted back to a 120 system which gives me to install that power strip it removes the battery all the wiring the custom wiring hardness the uh one LED light strip. Soon, I just need to pull that out because the homeowner has electricity now. So happy we can uh, get that thing plugged in. It got hot. It's getting warm. Ran it for a while. Make sure there's no leaks. Uh, making sure that thing is powering on. It's not tripping our little power strip. Sat there for a while, my knees kind of hurt. <laughs> Great thing about it is the fact that they have power now. They got a power line, power poles going to it. And my favorite thing is the fact that we didn't have to drill a big hole for a exhaust vent on that propane water heater and also finding a location for that a lot of these like trailer homes they have countertops all over everywhere and those sinks are not are like right in the middle they're not like at the edge or anything like that so it makes it really hard to find a spot for that propane water heater and also is that when we installed that, she was, she was mentioning that they're about to get power lines. Power hookup runs all the way down that way. But you can kind of see right there. Pretty cool. And uh, that's when I was thinking, I was like, man, we should try doing that. My idea, because the, the original plan for that was for like small uh, travel trailers where we can't have there's like no room for a uh, water heater, the propane water heater, and if they had no power, and that was the option, was that ream water heater converted to a t uh, battery, 12 volts. Then just little by little, did little updates, like little adding a switch, but the main idea was that. And awesome enough, this became another idea was for homes that were going to possibly get power to their house. So installing that, you know, it's not like you're going to get hot water instantly and all the time. You do have to take care of it because it's running off of a battery. Overclass like cows overcast like this, it does uh draw that battery down and it doesn't want to charge because there's no sunlight. But at least they do get like warm water and yeah, I'm like so happy it worked. It shows you don't have an exhaust vent and it was 12 volts and now it's a grid tied system. That's awesome. So awesome. You don't have to deal with batteries. You don't have to deal with batteries going out, fuses being blown, the wiring harness, LED light strip not working right. It's, it's so awesome. I'm so happy. <laughs> And uh, I told Shanna about it, and she's like, I, I wish I can be there. And I was going to bring the guys with me, but I was like, you know what? I need to, I just want to do this. Be focused on it. No million questions. It's not like they ask me a lot of questions. It's just, I don't want a little bit of a distraction. The next one that we do like that, that's when I will have everybody with me. It'll be a little longer. This one was kind of quick, but I'll have everyone with me. You know, that's going to be more like teaching everybody 
one, how to put it in, and then two, converting it back. So it's always good to do it on your own so you can be like, all right, that's what I got to look out for instead of bringing everybody and be like, oh, shoot, I messed up. <laughs> so it's always good. Hot water is getting hot. Water is running. So awesome. He's just a barker. Nothing to be scared of. He's just happy to see somebody come back and let's sing some words to him. Everybody has to love dogs. don't know if you can see it but the sun is right there and I was at this guy's house and I was looked off in the distance I was like check that out the color of I guess the landscape I don't know where that's coming from it's like this weird reddish brown I was at his house. I was at his house and I, I looked in the distance. I can see pretty far. His, the house is like on a hill. Like, whoop, I could see pretty far. And I almost fell. And I looked that way. I was like, why is it so red? It's like red brown. But the sun is right here. Now, this is kind of strange. The wonders and mysteries of Navajo Mountain. And with that, I bet it's Bob. Bob and his spaceship. Back in Shanto. Talk about little weird seasons of uh, what I just experienced. Tall mountain was snowing, pretty cool. Now here, it's warm for me because I just got out of the truck. So it feels warm, the sun's out, the snow's melting. Navajo Mountain. Cold. It was cold, cold, cold. That wind was cold. I don't know why. It's just always windy out there. Never stays warm. But I should have did a before, during, and after of that uh, water heater conversion back to 120. But I have everything here, so I want to just give an idea of what came out and not really what I put in, but what came out so the nice thing about this is well this is everything that came out this is what I took out of her home disconnected the battery box took that out took the battery so she doesn't have to worry about a battery worry about charging the Sun being out if it's really cloudy and it's not charging her battery so she don't have to worry about that now this is our custom water heater wiring harness, which is really nice. It's a 12 strand wire with a shrink shrink tube on there. So if there was something going on and this wire was getting hot somewhere, you would see it start to shrink and you'll know it's getting hot right there. Secondly is the wiring harness for everything from the pump to the switch to the lights 
and then to the battery so that's a lot of a lot of wiring we, we made it look pretty so didn't look ugly underneath their sink or on the side they look pretty these two were connected so I just took them and removed them just so you can get a better idea of what's what this would go to the battery box and then just wires up goes to the switch goes to the water pump and I just cut the ends of the switch because I just wanted to pull it through so but I left the uh, the switches on there the LED light strip and it just takes out so much it takes a lot of things out so doing that conversion from a 12 volt water heater back to a 120 eliminates all of this and left with just that then that would just plug straight into the wall outlet or a surge protector stuff like that so removal end process and that is so awesome and the great things about that is we don't have to cut open big six to seven inch hole on the side of the home and having the silver exhaust vent come out I was at a house a while ago I wanted to get the idea of what it looks like there's a big exhaust vent that comes out 90 and goes outside that was one of the things that I wanted to really really avoid because I just personally think it looks ugly <laughs> uh, but yeah she's she doesn't have to deal with exhaust vents everything like that and also we utilize her existing sink like I was saying not a lot of these homes have sinks that are close or accessible for a water heater so that worked out perfect now she has hot running water and all that wiring is gone that battery is gone you don't have to worry about any of that just turn that surge protector on and off and you got hot water I don't know if you can hear the dogs are howling in the back room but yeah that thing is awesome it's so amazing she told us about that last week that she finally got power and I was like yes now I can do that because that's exactly what I was like hoping for I mentioned it to her like if you once you get powers let us know and we can convert that back it's super easy super quick I think I did it in, in an hour could have been shorter but I kept forgetting something and I was trying to avoid going in and out because I made her floors a little muddy <laughs> sorry about that but I made it a little muddy I tried to avoid moving around shifting around stuff like that but it got done uh, next time is I'm gonna take everybody with me all the techs Ty Rob Harvin Steven Howard maybe Stanley but next time I would like to take all of them with me show them exactly why that was like the idea and hopefully, if I can, do the same with Delcon. Teach them how to convert that and then basically just going backwards to convert it back over. And it's, it's so cool. You know, not a lot of tools. Just hold on to your element right on there. Came from this home. And just when they get power hooked up, you can throw it back in there. And it really, really just avoids <laughs> that big exhaust vent. That's, that's my biggest thing is the exhaust vent. I just want to not drill a big hole because one, it obviously looks ugly for me. And two is it will catch and it hurts. It hurts the wrist. It hurts. It just hurts a lot. Steven knows that he's done a done it so many times I can't can't count but usually I always have to try and hold it and brace him and then he goes but sometimes it just catches you off guard and just hurts 